welcome to the Death Ray Cats channel. I'm going to show you some of the easiest rockabilly riffs in the world. I've made a backing track so you can play these licks over them or you can just improvise with the backing track if you like. The links are in the description below. We're going to start off with a really easy one. It's just two notes. This is just to get us started. So, I like to call this one the Psychobilly Shuffle. And it goes like this. As you can see, it's just two notes, dead easy. We're going to start with the open A and play the third fret on the A string. That's your riff and it just works all the way through the backing track. You don't even have to change for the chord changes. If you want to keep it simple, that's fine. Here's an example of that. To show you how to play this over the backing track with the changes, um, I'm going to quickly explain to you the 12 bar blues. If you don't know what the 12 bar blues is, it's a widely used chord progression. It's used in blues, rock and roll, rockabilly, a lot of this kind of music. And once you've heard it and learned it, you'll, you'll see it appearing everywhere. What it means is we're dividing a passage of music up into 12 bars and each bar's got four beats in it. So one bar is going to sound like this. Normally it's a bass drum, a snare, bass drum and a snare again. One, two, three, four. So here's one. Here's two bars. Now in this 12 bar blues, obviously there's 12 bars. And this is going to be the chord progression. So all you need for that is your three chords. You've got your A major. You got your D and your E. So we're going to start off in A. We're going to be in that A for four bars. For the next two bars, we're going to go to a D. Another two bars on the A. Two bars on the E. Two bars on the A. So that's going to add up to your 12 bars. So if you want this backing track, you can get it from Bandcamp or if you sign up to my Patreon, you can get that for free. All the details are going to be down in the description below. What we're going to do with this easy riff, instead of just playing it through the entire 12 bar progression, we're going to change when those chords change. So the good news is that to change with these chords, all we've got to do is change strings. So we're starting off on the A string for the A chord. When the 12 bar moves to the D, we're just going to move the whole thing to the next string up, which is the D string. When we go back to the A, we're going to move it back to where we were on the A string. When we go to E, your E string is on the bottom here, so we're just doing the exact same thing on the bottom, like this. Then back to A for two bars. So all together you got this. By the way, when you're playing this, you can give it a little bend. That's 
sounds cool. I'm calling this one the Psychobilly Shuffle because you hear that quite a lot in the Psychobilly stuff. Really simple little trick. Um, you can add to it as well if you want to add a little. All I'm doing there is playing the fourth fret after the third. Anyway, mess about with that with the backing track if you like. Psychobilly Shuffle is super easy, obviously. I just wanted to get anyone who'd never played before to maybe have a go at it and uh, get you understanding the 12 bar blues. So there's your first little riff. Let's move on to the next one. This one I'm going to call the Chuck Berry. So this is a classic, you got to know this one. We're going to be using the same backing track, we're still in A, which means we're going to be playing the riff in A. The root note is going to be on the A string here. And first finger we're going to put on the second fret of the next string up. So we've got this little this shape here. You're playing both strings at once. You open A. And that's an E you're playing there on the D string. Second fret, first finger. That's it. Next up, with your third finger, we're going to place that on the fourth fret on the same string as your first finger. So, we're also going to let that A ring out as well. So first, second fret, first finger. Then fourth fret, third finger. So you've got this. Then... Two strings, open A ringing out, on your D string the second and fourth frets. Once you've got that down, think about the rhythm a little bit, so Chuck Berry might be swinging it a little bit, so all that means. Up and down strokes. And swung means that the notes aren't evenly spaced together. There's a bit of a da 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 da. I'll explain it properly another time. But it just means instead of we're going to do this with the backing track. If you want to keep it simple, if it's your first time doing the Chuck Berry. Just try that if you want. So there's your Chuck Berry, and same as with the other Psychobilly riff or the first easy lick, we're uh, we're going to move that to a different string depending on which chord we're playing. So when we're playing in A. bars there on the A string then we're going to do the two bars in D so it's exactly the same we're just moving up one set of strings same as before we're going to do two bars on the A again and we go to the E for two bars Back to A for two bars. All together you have this.
Okay, very good. Chuck Berry riff. It's a good one to know. Next up, we've got the walking bass line. So what we're going to do here is replicate that classic rockabilly bass line. We're going to play it on the guitar. We're going to use two strings, and this is what we're going to do in the A position. It's as simple as that. That's four notes. We've got an open A. Then we're going to go to the fourth fret on the A string. Then we're going to go to the second fret on the D string. Then the fourth fret on the D string. And we're just going to repeat that. So this one, you can think of it as those four notes fill a bar. So if we're playing for four bars, we're going to play that four times like this. That's your first part of the 12 bar. We then go up to the D. Exactly the same thing, but one set of strings up as usual. So D string, fourth fret on the D string. Up to the G, we're going to play on the second fret and then the fourth there you go let's repeat that for two bars then we're going back to the A for two bars and then you guessed it we're going to the E so bottom E string fourth fret second fret on the A fourth fret on the A That's your two bars, and back to A. All together, it goes like this. This is the last easy riff. I like to call this one the Swinging Hillbilly because it's kind of got a early rockabilly, hillbilly kind of vibe to it. Uh, it's got a few extra notes in there, but I think you'll manage it, no problem. So in A, as you can see, it's based around that walking bass line. Just add in a couple of extra bits in there. We're going to start off with two open A's, then third fret, fourth fret on A. Then we're going to go to the E, the second fret on the D string that is. We're going to play that twice. Then one hit on the fourth fret on the D string. And then the last hit's gonna be on the second fret on the D string. So we've got this. There you go. That's gonna be one bar. So you play that whole thing four times to cover the four bars. Then what we're going to do, we're going to move to the D. So we're going to play the same thing, set of strings up in pitch or down towards the ground. Play that with the D string open. Third fret, fourth fret, then second fret on the G. Two hits there, one on the four, one on the two. To uh, do two bars there. Back to the A. Down to the E, two bars. Then back to A. Pretty cool.
got something from that. There's quite a lot to be looking at if you're a beginner. If you're a bit more advanced and you just want to jam over this, you want to be looking at the A minor pentatonic. That'll be a good starting point. You can just play up and down there along to the backing track. It's going to be in the description below. It's going to be on my Patreon site. I'll be doing a lesson in future on the pentatonic stuff for jam into that. So subscribe or join the Patreon for all that kind of stuff. I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one lessons via Skype or Zoom. If you want to get in touch via the website, all that stuff is in the description below. And I'm going to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.